Hello everyone. In this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to use the GeoGebra software to do a reflection in the Y axis and also in the X axis. Right? Now, first thing you need, you need an object, right? So you're going to select the polygon menu, which is this menu here. So you select it, you select polygon. Now let's see that I want my polygon to be somewhere over here. So I want my polygon to be here. And I want the next point to be here. And I want a point to be here. And I'm going to finish back my polygon at point B. Note after you complete your polygon, the sides are labeled. Let's say that you don't want the side to be labeled because you don't want your triangle to be overcrowded then you just click on each label and then you are going to click on show label and it will disappear now that your triangle is perfect and you are ready to reflect it you want to reflect it in the y-axis first so if i want to reflect it in this y-axis i must draw a line over the y-axis so i'm going to go to this menu here which is the line segment menu you're going to select it and you're going to select line after you select line you're going to pick two points on this y-axis to draw the line so where that finger comes up at five let's say i want one of the points to be there i'm going to select that point and then by I can by moving my mouse, I can put the line wherever I want. But let's say I want the next point to be at negative one, then I just select the point there. So note that this line is directly over the y-axis, right? So now in order to do the reflection, then I need to select the reflection tool, which is this tool here. Then all you need to do is to select reflect you're going to select reflect about a line and select that then you are going to ensure that you tab on the object and the object must be highlighted after you tab on it and then you are going to tab on the line and then after you tab on the line there is your reflection so there is a prime b prime and c prime now so let's say that we want to do a reflection of this image in the x-axis this time so what you're going to do we already have the image already so all we need is a line to represent the x-axis so you're going to go to this tool over here which is your line tool again and you're going to select a line right i'm going to select two points on the line so let's say one point is here and you want the next point to be at the origin then that's your line there which is the same line as the x-axis now in order to complete the reflection all you're going to do is to select the reflection menu which is this menu here and select reflect about a line then you are going to click on the object itself so you click on the object note that when i click on the object that the sides are highlighted and then you are going to click on the line that you want it to reflect in and you're going to click on that line and there is your reflection there which is c prime prime b prime prime and a prime prime so that's how you use the GeoGebra software to do a reflection. All right.